beautiful wife, Irene, is also in that picture. So I have known Dr. Stevens now for about two years. I am a dumb tax attorney that knows nothing about science. And this guy has totally opened my eyes as to how this stuff actually works, because um, I was clueless. He was actually the doctor's teacher back at Ohio State. I don't want to say it wrong. The Ohio State. I know there's always a big thing. I have to make sure it's the Ohio State. So this is the guy that for all those years prior to this technology even being discovered, he was digging in and doing research on these exact molecules. So I am going to delay it no longer, and I introduce you, Dr. Ralph Stevens. I sure am glad we're uh, good on time because when you get a teacher up in front of people, guess what? <laughs> and I'm a teacher, right? Yeah, I have a question, fast forward, that I have been asked, and I'm sure some of you have been asked. If you haven't been asked before, you will be. And that is, do you believe in this stuff? <laughs> My answer is quite simple, no. I don't. You see, this is medical science. I'm a scientist. Belief has nothing to do with it. I've worked with these things for almost 40 years. I know how they work. So when I'm asked that question, do you believe in this stuff? I say, no. Because it works, and I know why. Now, I am a cell biologist. I have experience in molecular biology as well as radiation biology. So this is CEO stuff. These redox signaling molecules are right up my alley. I have studied this for almost 40 years. But I studied the oxidants. We have redox. There's a reductance in the oxidants. I studied the oxidants because they were bad side, the bad guys. And we all knew they were responsible for causing all of our problems. So I studied the cell. Most people think of the cell as a bag of salt water. I do not. I think it's a little more complex. Maybe something like New York City, Atlanta, Los Angeles, or in this case, Hong Kong. This is the way I see the cell. There's millions of things going on at the same time, all of which, which are responsible for the success of that particular city, or in my studies, that particular cell. All of these things are going on at the same time. Now, when somebody asks me a question or I hear testimonies like I did today, I start thinking immediately, what cells were involved to give them that particular response. That good health response that these people have started at the cellular level. That's my bag. So this is the model I use. <coughs> it's quite simple. Does the porn work on this thing? Yeah. It's quite simple. When something gives a cell a signal, the signal goes into the nucleus. This thing is nervous uh, for some reason, right? You gave me one that's nervous. It goes into the nucleus where the DNA is, and it sends out a, a gene, a new gene, to take care of the problem. So that's exactly how it works. There's a lot more steps involved, but that's what happens. Now, when the founders came up with this stuff, which we call Redox supplement, it's the other redox supplement. They just didn't sit back and offer people a bottle, a bottle to drink. They wanted to know why it works. And I do appreciate that question. Why does this stuff work? All right, this gets me out of the realm of belief. There's lots of laboratories which are involved. This one right here did a lot of the toxicity as well as the effects on certain diseases. This one up here at the North Carolina Research Institute, Dr. Neiman runs this, and he is one of the, if not the most, renowned world experts on supplementation for athletes. 
He did several experience, experiments. Found out, for instance, that uh, taking a SIA more than doubles the effects on the metabolites, more than doubles any other supplement he's ever given an athlete. The results were more than double when they took the SIA. He found out the VO2 max was bumped up by 12%, which is kind of ridiculous. We know of a particular bicyclist who was <coughs> doping to get up 3%, okay? The uh, ASEA redox signaling molecules given to the athletes bumps up that wall to 12%. He also did an experiment with mice. He gave mice ASEA for uh, seven days and found out that they ran 28% further after they'd been on the SEA for a week. Now, if any of you are going to challenge a mouse to an endurance race, be sure you pick one that's not on a SEA or you're going to be wasting your money. <laughs> Another thing that Dr. Neiman's laboratory came up with is they found out that oxidized LDL very high risk factor for cardiovascular problems was highly significantly reduced. So oxidized LDL is reduced by taking a CO. Also, oxidized pieces of DNA were reduced. And this is in my baby way, because that means these cells, the DNA in these cells were not being damaged as much. So we got a reduction in oxidized LDL, oxidized. Uh, pieces of DNA. So that takes care of the athletic part, that takes care of the toxicity part, but a seal went further. They got more laboratories, they got clinical laboratories, Stevenson Associates and Dermatest. And they checked out what the topical gel was <coughs> doing. The topical gel having a little uh, concentrated redox signaling molecules. And they found out one thing that the cells turn over 16% faster when the Renew 28 is applied to the cells or to the skin. Now that explains the results that they got where wrinkles went away, age spots went away, the skin had more elasticity, uh, retained more uh, water. <sighs> So that takes care of the beauty part of it. So you see, the C is getting this science done. These, by the way, were clinical laboratories. The C is getting the science done, click, 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 right down the line. And as Lisa already mentioned, they got a third party to certify that indeed, what you're taking in that bottle of the C of redox supplement is redox signaling molecules. But there's a problem. Most of the results and the testimonies that you hear, the real dramatic ones, involve <coughs> these problems. Immune system, inflammatory, cardiovascular, digestive, and hormone problems. So most of the testimonies you hear are not about how my wrinkles and my, what do you call it, crow's feet, went away. Not that my cellulite is a lot better than it used to be. You don't hear these testimonies. This is the dramatic testimonies you would hear. So a, a seal went ahead and had someone do the science on that. Enter Dr. Ward in his laboratory, Torrent Laboratories. Now they have a very sophisticated <coughs> technique where they can actually look at all of the genes in the cell. Not the individual ones, but pieces and parts put together, taken apart, and a very highly advanced statistical program that it can identify most of the genes. So they can look at this, and then they can find out how different things affect gene expression. Did the number of genes go up? Did the level of gene A go up or down? So they can actually measure these. You're probably familiar with a more simple example of the techniques that Dr. Ward used. If you've ever heard of uh, Ancestry.com 
or 23 and me, okay? This is similar to the techniques that Dr. Ward is using. So he did an experiment, took 60 people, average age about 35, gave them a seal, eight ounces for eight weeks, and he found out, indeed, that the level of five genes went up in every one of these individuals, anywhere from 21 to 30 percent. Is that right, or is it 20 to, 20 to 31 percent? Every one of them. And these were healthy people, okay? Average age 35. I would have picked some old guy like me, you know, <coughs> because I would think I would have a better chance to respond. I need a lot more help than these kids did. But it went up in five of the genes. One of those genes, by the way, affected all of those areas that we were talking about. The digestion, the hormones, the cardiovascular. One of just, just one of those five genes affected 15 other genes or genetic pathways. So it was quite significant when he found out that taking a SIA, as a matter of fact, he was surprised as well, taking a SIA uh, has resulted in the increase, either the turn on or the increase in the expression of these genes. That didn't surprise me because when I said, I don't have to believe, I know what's going on. I knew that the genes had to be turned on. That's the only thing that could be happening. So I knew it, all right? I couldn't prove it, I hadn't done the experiment, but that's the way it had to be happening. So this did not surprise me. What surprised me was when they were no longer taking the ASEA, the expression of these genes went back down to the base level, the level they were before the experiment was even started. In other words, there is no doubt redox signaling molecules in ASEA have turned on the genes because when you stop it, they're turned off. So that has to do with all of these problems. So when you hear these testimonies, you don't have to believe in this stuff. The science has already been done. You can believe in the science. You can believe in the facts. But science doesn't sell. Stories sell. The fact that I no longer have these very, 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 very bad headaches, which I've had for over 60 years, that's much more dramatic. The fact that I don't have to get up five or six times a night to go to the bathroom, even after surgery, that's more dramatic. The fact that when I walk into a room now, I remember what I went in there for. <laughs> that's more dramatic. That's uh, and, and you can you can say it with a lot more emotion that would, uh, if a cell is disturbed and a signal is sent through the nuclear membrane to the nucleus, the DNA in the nucleus, which is then opened up and then takes care of uh, transcripts of the RNA, which then goes back out of the nucleus, and binds to the ribosomes, and is translated into proteins, would take care of the problem. So you don't need a cellular molecular uh, uh, radiologist anymore. You got the facts. You don't need me anymore. Hey, but keep me around, would you? I'm having a lot of fun. 